Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that winning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. The focus of my research is on extracorporeal life support, or devices that replace the function of the heart and lungs temporarily. Some of the projects that I worked on included an artificial placenta, which involves supporting premature infants uh, who are in respiratory failure. I also worked on a project related to organ transplant, uh, specifically uh, related to heart and lung transplant. We are trying to develop devices that can support these organs in between the time that they're procured from a donor and then before they're implanted into a patient. The artificial placenta project is exciting because this device would not only support the function of a baby's lungs, uh, but would also protect the lungs from further damage and then let the lungs develop almost as if the baby was still in the womb. The project on transplantation is important because we have waiting lists full of thousands of people who all desperately need uh, a new heart or a new set of lungs, but all the time we have to pass on organs that come up because we're not sure whether they're going to work well enough for folks. The project we're working on uh, would allow us to, say, take lungs uh, from a donor and then put them through a series of tests to figure out whether they will work. And also, we can use that same device to help recondition the lungs, maybe take a set of lungs that we were going to have to uh, reject in the first place and allow them to actually be transplanted. And we're very close to beginning a clinical trial on that specific device here at Michigan to see if we can improve the outcomes of lung transplant. Having two years dedicated to research was wonderful. The academic development time here at Michigan was the main reason that I wanted to stay here for residency. Having two years as a block really allowed me to see the entire process of research. So I got to help come up with ideas, apply for grants, um, devise experiments, execute the experiments, refine them, and, and then uh, summarize our research and report it back to our funders and to the scientific community. I got to see the whole process and I got great training at each stage of that process, which was wonderful. I think it's very important for surgeons to be involved in research and the uh, surgical resident research endowment will help us with that. A lot of the research that I did really has to be done by surgeons, uh, not only because someone with surgical skills has to implant these devices and monitor and adjust the settings of these devices all throughout testing, uh, but also because the technology that I worked on has the potential to reshape surgery over the next 20 or 30 years, and it's important that surgeons take the lead in that process.